explain what's going on. So basically what we have here is is a, a trailer. Uh, I don't even know how to explain it, but like we can't back right now. Um, we don't know if we thought it was an electrical issue at first. We thought it was some cords. Um, we've tried everything in the book and my dad's helping us out. We have to go inside to call him because he's back in the U.S. Uh, and so, oh, here you are. So basically, uh, I, we're trying to watch animation videos to see how to how to secure, how to um, unlock a, a locked trailer brakes, and nothing seems to work. So, oh, things you do in Canada. What do I have? Hold up. Big bat, giant. Let's go, baby. No, it's not off. You got off. Dang it. Is there? It's this one. Out. How do you know if this is blown? Because this is this is trailer brake. Oh yeah, we know it's good. Yeah, it should be good. Because <laughs> the trailer brakes work. Are you exposed right? I think so. Oh, is it broken? That's blown. Completely blown. That is a blown fuse. Okay. Oh, well, so that is. Let me see here. Sixteen. Yeah, trailer reverse lamp. So that explains it. Okay. Okay, so we put a fuse in from uh, the left trailer light and brake light just to see if we have the right problem. And that's that's still locked. I don't think you push. I'm moving it. Oh, did you just get it? No. Ah. Like, it's okay. It's pretty far back and it's pretty stiff. Like, I can't really. Hmm. It's really. Yeah, you're on it. Like that's what you're prying right now. Oh man, this is a nightmare. Yeah. So you got to get the slide forward over the over the pin. But okay, this is the question: How much force do we put on that? Like I don't want to break it. Yeah. Or the screwdriver, and I then feel get. Yep. Yeah, you put the screwdriver in. You push it. You put the screwdriver you in. See this there? You push the screwdriver in. It doesn't even look like you touch it. It just releases it. And you See, ours rod. is locked right now. Like, you can't move that thing. Like, you break that rod, and then you're bringing your trailer into a garage. Yeah, and we can't even get it to a garage from here. Yeah. Oh, good grief. Good. Oh. Yeah. This goes here. And that goes there. You want me to give her a shot? One sec. And put in the, tr the electric stuff. Yeah, I don't know. Like that rod is jammed, man. If, unless it popped while we were moving it around, it, it clicked into place and we just didn't even realize it. Nope. All right, so basically we have to unscrew some hydraulic line to just literally get this thing out. So we are gonna have to go without trailer brakes for the rest of the trip. Righty tidy. If I can even get this thing on there. Oh. I heard something release. Oh. It just shot at me. Oh, it just like. Something just broke. Oh, yep, there it goes. You got it? Honestly, I have no clue what I just did. But okay, this to give her a something shot. just something just broke. Easier than I thought. Yeah. Look, the dog is sleeping. Well, should we give it a shot? Because okay, when we yeah. do this, we might as well. We might as well give it a quick shot. This is crazy. Okay. Gotta get this dog out. Nap time is over. Hey, bud. Bud, come on, come on. We gotta go. We gotta go. Grab his stick and throw it. Where's the stick at? It's on, right in front of his paws. Alright. Oh. Make sure he doesn't come back. Oh, man. You did it. 
Oh, praise the Lord. Well, folks, we are, uh, we're gonna try to get out of here as soon as we can. We're a bit behind schedule. How much, two hours? It's 1.30. We're two hours behind schedule, but, oh man, ah! Okay, we know what to do now. We have no trailer brakes, but it's all right. At least we can fit. What's going on everybody and welcome to beautiful Lake of the Woods in Kenora, Ontario. So you may be thinking, Tyler, this is Monsters of Minnesota, why are you in Canada? Well, we decided to take a few day break, uh, I guess not from the series, we're going to add to the series, but we heard the muskie fishing was real good here at Lake of the Woods and so is the smallmouth. So I'm here with Cole Forsyth, he's a good buddy of uh, one of my buddies, Jeff, he fished tournaments together and he's, a, he's a, a stick out here, he knows how to catch big fish. So. Uh, we'll talk more about his guide service, all sorts of stuff here coming up in the next few hours. But hopefully, guys, we'll hook into a giant, giant muskie for you and complete the Monsters of Minnesota leg one. Let's get going. On the dock. He's joking. <laughs> Sounds good. Awesome. Is it big? Uh, my name is Cole Forsyth, and um, I'm a fishing guide in Lake of the Woods. I'm born and raised here, and uh, spend my summers chasing muskies and crushing walleyes. So, living the dream. Well, bass guy at heart, but uh, you know, walleyes and muskies are a close second. Um, I've been a guide since I've been 14. Um, I always, always used to get the the looks when uh, people would jump in the boat with me and uh, realize that the that a young kid taking them out and you know at the end of the day everyone seemed to be pretty thrilled with uh, what they've uh, caught and it's been a it's been a good a good experience a uh, good exposure through um, fishing into the fishing community honestly the best part of guiding to me is just meeting new people um, you get to experience a lot of different things with uh, like yourself I got to meet you um, just the experience of being out on the water honestly uh, it's God's country and you know I don't think I'd rather spend my summers any other way All right, y'all, we are fishing the, uh, the bus stop right now. It's a place where the, uh, the bus comes to take the kids out to live at the islands and take them to school. I wish my bus stop was on the lake. Although not, I'd probably go to a whole lot less school if my bus stop was on the lake. Someone yesterday was trying to fix their talent on the ramp and I told them she got a power pole. Because a lot of people do not know that power poles exist. Really? Oh yeah, a lot of people have no, don't know what you mean if you say power poles. Yeah. You just feel pressure. It's usually it's literally a flick of the wrist. No, no, you gotta get it in their brain. I've killed some fish before. <laughs> Have you never killed a fish in a hook set? <laughs> I've thrown one into the windshield and you left it No, <laughs> no, no, no. I brought some up that are dead. No. Now don't use hooks. Because they're they're too sh they're too sharp. Really? I've killed fish on hook sets. Really? Yeah, if you hook them in the top of the mouth with like a flipping hook, I've literally brought in limp fish because I go straight through their brain. Really? Yeah. It's gonna feel so good to go back to bass and not do this little binky circle every cast. We out. That's a big one. Where's the camera? That thing is huge. That thing is huge. Holy cow. Yeah. Yeah. Yep, 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 yep. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Nice. Oh, the drag was loose. I had to tighten it down. I was trolling last with that rock. Come on. Come on. Come on. You big boy. Yeah! Yes! Woo! 
it came the off net. in the net. Look at that. Look at that, Taylor. Oh. There you go, buddy. Oh, doing. man. Oh, well, I'm so pumped. Your boat, what, an hour? An hour. An hour or so? An hour into Lake of the Woods, and this is what we get. Wow. I am, I'm blown away by how beautiful this fish is. Let's, uh, what's the process here? Well, you know You're fishing, you know? Yeah, yeah. He's still green, though. What does that mean? Still Angry? Lively. Let's get, yeah. the, get the hook out of the net first. Yeah. <laughs> Gosh. <laughs> Came out of nowhere and ate that thing. I'm just Ooh. gonna quickly grab a photo and then you'll get everything else. Gotcha. Man, folks, look at how beautiful this fish is. My first muskie of all time, probably 40 inches. Sweet. What a rush, eh? Got some up close photos? Yeah. Alright, nice. Alright, we're gonna go for the release. That's a great photo. All scarred up Got on him. the tail. I'm trying to let this fish go right here. How do I know when they're ready to be kicked off? You basically just hold them and then they'll go. Yeah, it starts giving you some signs of life. Uh-huh. All right, here he goes. Bye-bye. You know, it's like hunting. Uh, time in, there's a, lot of, um, there's a lot of effort that goes into it. There's a lot of uh, time put in, but you know what? The, the adrenaline involved with chasing muskies and the, the thrill of finally hooking into one after you you know, a couple hours, hours of uh, casting for them, and there's just, uh, you know, there's nothing just, just like it. I mean, it's unique in its own sense. Um, when you actually hook into one of those giants and elusive, elusive predators of Lake of the Woods, uh, you know, there's just some, some, you know, unique satisfaction of uh, being able to catch the dominant fish in this lake, top of the food chain. Like, it's a real hunt, and uh, you know, it's, it's honestly one of my favorite things to do. It's just a lot of time put in and effort involved, but it's well worth it in my opinion. It was really slow too, it was down deep. Yeah, he was very deep. Just didn't really want to follow it a whole lot. Huh. All right, we saw another. Another sighting. Almost like whale sightings. They're, yeah. just, they're so big. The elusive rep and there's another one. <laughs> oh my one. gosh, big one, one. huge one. Should we work deeper now? I don't know. I'm go deep and like come back <coughs> Gosh. That was a little better one. Should we come back over this area? It's be a good spot to come back to later. Yeah. Maybe come back and a little more duskish. Exactly. That's probably two different fish in a back to back cast. Uh huh. Yeah, we're seeing a lot more fish today than we did yesterday. There's a lot of them over here. Oh, there is, there is. Yep, yep, there he is, there he is, there he is. There he is. Is there any more? I don't see him. Gosh, they're so deep. He's I've already fallen a couple of times. Yeah. Yeah, so what are some description words for giant fish? Some mules. Mules? Yeah. Some daddies. Some daddies. Wow. I've never heard of call a fish a daddy. <laughs> Ooh, that's a daddy right there. <laughs> I just don't feel comfortable calling fish daddy. <laughs> So what's your thoughts on, on Texans? When you think of Texas people, what do you think? Yeah, I think hats. Like cowboy hats. Yeah, yeah. I think um, probably, what are they, bulls? <laughs> yeah. Know, cow rodeos. Rodeos. No, no, every stereotypical thing that most people would think probably. Everything's bigger in Texas. That's the truth. That's what I've heard. Uh -huh. Do we ride our horses to school? I don't know, you tell me, do you? No, I don't ride my horse to school. No. Nope. I laid it into that big one. What's it called? Daddy. Hard on the Daddy. Mm -hmm. Huh? 
Huh? Rune Maiden called? Huh. No, I'm just kidding. Oh, you don't know how to do it? <laughs> no. Uh, I got really excited there for a second. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know if I can still do it. Do it. I don't know if I can though. That was good enough in my book. I liked it. Sweet rock too. I'm just like losing my game, you know? All that game all my game that I have, it's gone. Yeah, I kept the mask in the first hour. I was like, sweet, this is easy. <laughs> oh wait. Let's go another seven hours though sketching one. How do you get these things but, all sorry, I'm gonna do that for you. It's gonna take you two tries, I'm guessing. Fried thing. <laughs> Correct that one. Man. You know, I think the unique part about Lake of the Woods is uh, that you can go out here every day of your life and fish a different island probably for the rest of your life. Uh, there's always new water to be fished. It's always fishing like different systems. Like there's so many different little little um, ecosystems kind of in involved in this. Like you got the Canadian Shield side of the lake and if you go down to the the American side, you're fishing more of a prairie type uh, type deal with a lot of sand and, and more flats. So, I mean, just the versatility and di or diverseness of uh, being able to fish and figure out and different parts of fish in this lake is unique in its own sense. Why do you fish? Why do I fish? Um, you know, I I fish because. Oh, that's such a good question, because I love it. I mean, that's probably the best way to explain it. I mean, being able to get out here and just experience things and kind of be at like, it's like, you're so relaxed all the time trying to figure stuff out and like put pieces of puzzle together. And it's just so rewarding. I, like, I, that's, you got me on that one. That's a, that's a hard one to answer. It all just comes down to it. I just love being outdoors. Like, that's kind of what I've grown up doing. It's just a part of me and I don't think I'll ever not love to fish, like it's just what I love to do. I don't know, it's probably really was, circular. Because <laughs> fishing's awesome. <laughs> I have no other way to say it. <laughs> Definitely need to experience it. My name's Cole Forsyth and I'm a muskie fisherman. Well, everybody, that is episode one of Monsters of Minnesota. Yes, we are in Canada, but we filmed half of it in Minnesota, and I luckily caught my uh, my muskie today. So thank you so much, Cole, for taking us out. It was a blast. If you guys ever want to book him for a guide trip up here in the Kenora, Ontario area, make sure you guys give him a call. Absolutely. All this stuff will be down below, social media, the website, that kind of stuff. And uh, guys, stay tuned for more Monsters of Minnesota episodes to come. You got anything to say to end it out? Yeah, no, it was... It's a good day. I mean, the sunset pretty much says it all. It's yeah. been a gorgeous day out here on Lake of the Woods. Another one yeah. for the books. So that is it for Monsters of Minnesota, Episode 1, Musky Hunting, presented by Lucky Tackle Box, Lose, Connect Scale, and the rest. We'll see you guys next time. All right, tell me about the experience. Yeah, so um, from like the minute we pulled up, I knew that this was a very, very special place. Can you see that? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, we met these kids at a gas station and <laughs> sold them my camera. Well, I should take Justin Bieber back. <laughs> oh, I like him. <laughs>